Subaru has just launched its brand new 2018 XV. XV is the smallest of the Subaru SUVs and is on the same platform as the new Impreza, making this the second car off Subaru's new global platform. It's tasteful inside and out. The cabin is quality, the switch gear is beautifully laid out and the top model has an 8 inch touchscreen. The lesser models have a 6.5 inch touchscreen. The seating is fully flexible and the CarPlay can easily be activated either by the button or by simply saying hey Siri. You then issue it with whatever command you wish, whether it's asking for directions to a petrol station or trying to play music or you can do hands-free messaging so no more looking down at your phone while you're on the road. The road manners are excellent. Whether it's on or off tarmac, the ride is absolutely superb. It really is very, very good. I can't emphasize that enough. The top model gets LED with built-in running lights and eyesight, which is Subaru's safety system, which is a suite of things that will keep you on the road and keep your tires the right way up. The engineers decided that they would show us just how capable this car really is. Subaru hid from nothing. As good as it is on the road, it is even better off the road. So on the road it's smooth and quiet and refined, with steering that's probably a little bit light, but it's the kind of ride that people that buy this car are going to expect. They just want to be able to put their stuff in it at the weekends and head off. Scuba gear, rock climbing gear, whatever. But you can go camping in it. You can just head off on that lane and you know you're going to get there. It's got all-wheel drive. It is absolutely fabulous. You can go to wherever you're going and when you get there, you set your tent up and there's just no problem. It doesn't look like it should be able to do this, but it can, thanks to X-Mode and Hill Descent Control. The X-Mode is a whole lot of safety things that help the Subaru manage to keep grip in poor road conditions, like mud, sand, and so forth. The engineers even arranged a special treat for us. They found an abandoned quarry. Here we are going up the hill, well, David's going up the hill. And then over the top, coming down the other side, you cannot see what's in front of you. You go over and the land just disappears. You take your feet off the brake and accelerator. And that's the car doing it all by itself. David's not touching anything, or at least he shouldn't be. He may be touching the accelerator. He's a bit naughty like that. And that's as easy as it looked. Going backwards, there's autonomous braking, so you won't run into shopping carts. Going forward, there's autonomous braking, so you won't run into pedestrians or garage doors or, or whatever. The point is, it's an incredibly safe car. It makes you feel safe, and it's incredibly easy to drive. And after all, that's really all you want from a car. You want it to be safe, you want to feel secure, and you want to know that you've got value for money. And this Subaru is value for money, only not that blue.